Tis the season to be given. And the NBA has given us a lot of games on Christmas Day. So I had to partner up with DraftKings to unwrap an exclusive holiday gift just for you. As we count down to Christmas, all new customers who bet just $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. So why wait? Make your holiday merrier and your pockets jingler by downloading the DraftKings app today. Simply sign up using my promo code NITTY. That's N-I-T-T-Y. Nitty. Don't miss out on the holiday chairs. So let's make this season extra special with DraftKings. If you're already signing for DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same game parlay bet doesn't hit. Max reward limit applies. Fans with multiple teams and want to bet on them all combine multiple bets together on Christmas Day. Bet $5, get $150 in bonus bets instantly. No sweat bet for a shot at even a bigger payout. If sport betting is not yet available in your state, not to worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code NITTY, that's N-I-T-T-Y, and bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code NITTY only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Guys, I'm at the Florida Mall. That's one of my favorite sneaker malls in Orlando. Actually, it's the sneaker mall in Orlando. And today, we got a Jordan release in the middle of the week. We got the Air Jordan 14 black and white. Let's go inside and see what's popping. Upon arrival though, I did find these Anthony Edwards Adidas. I'm not bad at them. They're kind of dope. They're called the AE1s. Stand for his initials, number one. I do believe he was the first pick overall, so that makes sense. Anyways, what I don't see are the 14s. What I do see is the Midnight Navy 3s. Now this joint came out this past Saturday. I was out of town, stopped in Tallahassee and I kind of reviewed them. I did a mall vlog in the Governor Square Mall. But nevertheless, this is the first time I have seen them here in my area in Central Florida. But I don't see the 14s. Anyway, we'll keep looking. We'll see what else is different around these parks. So I'm in Champs and I don't see them on shelves. I did acquire about them. I do believe they have them. So hopefully they'll bring me a pair out so I can take a look at them. Meanwhile, while we wait, we still got the 37 lows for 99 beans and they got the Bordeaux colorway for $100. I want this next the low though i need it for the 50. however they do got this Kyrie. this one going for 50 dollars. that's cheap i believe these are the infinities Kyrie last shoe with nike what is crazy when nike released Kyrie, they told all the foot traffic sites to remove the shoe off shelves i remember i was here that day but apparently some are still remaining and i did find a lebron 19 low for 50 beans that's cheap that's hella cheap few sizes left biggest size is a size 10 and they still got the 37s for 50 beans they're in the building Ooh, i appreciate it so the homie just brought them over to me so these are called the 14s black and white. I was just mentioning this should have made this a black hat. It have went over a little bit better. I think people would have gravitated more towards these. And besides the color is the price. This joint's in for $200. That $200, it make these unattractive. Maybe $190 is what we used to and you know what I mean? We can it, it just make it a little bit more easy to swallow. But $200, Ooh, that's tough. I don't think it's a bad shoe. I do like 14s. I have a few of them in the collection. Best 14 that was sway was the Ferrari 14s, the red joint. And then we got the yellow Ferraris. Y'all thought, see, I caught these. They came out today, Wednesday. Not sure when you're seeing this, but they're available for $200. I'm currently in champs. I appreciate it, homie. So we're gonna hit up JD Sports and see what's popping over there. And see if they got pairs. We do see the threes, more threes. What's crazy is I forgot that we got two threes in one month. We got the fairs and we got the Midnight Navies. And if it's not the same month, it was within a month. I think they're like two, two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks apart. And then do got these for buck fifty. The mob sale, Air Jordan One High OG. That's dope to see. They got the sevens on sale as well for one seventy. But I feel JD Sports can do a lot better. I think this can hit hundred. What's your thoughts? And I know for a fact if it does hit hundred. They're gone. And I did find some flight Hirachis in this tan colorway. Now that's fire. I have never seen that color ever. This one I have, I have found these in New York. I'm not mad at this colorway either, man. I think they're dope, but they're pricey though. 120, well, well relative based on the type of shoe. They're both going for 125. I'm not mad at them. JD Sports does have it. They just don't have it out on shelves yet. So we've been to two different stores. So we've been to Foot Locker number one. Now we're about to visit Foot Locker number two. But unfortunately, we was only able to see the 14s and champs. Let's see if they're in the building. Don't see them. 
I do see the Midnight Navy 3s, these in the building, but I'm expecting to see these all over the place. These came out this Saturday, and I really haven't time to visit the mall to see what's in the building, except for when I was traveling. But I still got the 5s, the 13s, the mids, and the Aqua 6s, and a start. Oh, they finally dropped the KD3s, the yellow joints for buck 30. They're in the building. I actually like this shoe. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not in the building. All right, shoe pals is next. I know for a fact they got these joints. So they're in the building, and the homie told me they already sold about eight pairs. And it's about 1046. I am not mad at these. I thought I wasn't gonna like them because of the sway, but they're, they're dope. Black and white, that's the best name they could come up with. I mean, it is what it is. $200 though, man. That price is so unattractive, but I like them. If these go on sale, this might be a pickup. These, the Cardinal 7s, Burgundy 5, are on my hit list for like roughly around $100. I would I would cop. But y'all thoughts? Y'all paid 200 for them? I got them day one. Was it worth it? Are y'all gonna wait like me? Lightweight shoe pops be having shoes on sale. The Morants, this is going for 70 beans. I haven't seen this cheaper anywhere else. That's dope to see. Not only you got that for affordable pricing, but they also got these forced lows for 40 beans as well. That's dope. Red, white, and black. The dude got the pennies in the building as well. These are Orlando Magic colorways. These are joints are going for two. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a that must, that's a typo, bro. $200 for these? Yo, y'all seeing that? Am I tripping? That says two hundred dollars, right? It does say it's a uh, ear penny too. Nah, chill. We need answers. I doubt that's the price. There's no way. I don't even think sneakers had it for that amount. Putting that back on shelves. I haven't. I even know these drop. These all black Lebron. I'm sorry, I don't know my Lebron. These are Lebron fours. All black, black out. That's different. What they're hitting for? Two forty. That's pricey. But anyways, what y'all thoughts on these? Will y'all cop these? I know this is not like a popular silhouette, but it's also an all black shoe. So the homie just confirmed that that is a, a retail price for those pennies. Still have my uh, reservations, man. I doubt it. They also got these in the building. Full Lock is the only other spot in this mall that has them. These are going for $250. The bronze are pricey, man. And these like 200 beans. Oh, these are 140 now, but original retail was 200 So this is what they got in the building. They got the threes as well, Midnight Navies. Like I said, this came out this weekend for $200. Can't believe that's the same price of a penny. That's crazy to me. They got the Crab Fours in the building. Ain't nothing changing on these, not even the pricing. They're 209 if y'all looking for them. They got the Aquas. They got the Wheats. And I have seen these already discounted, way below 200 We've seen these already discounted counted elsewhere. Not a fan of these, but they're in the building. These are going for 140. The reimagined ones that still got the burgundy five. I'm not mad at it. I do actually want a pair. They're still going for two. Damn, 225? Yo, are the prices going up? I don't know, man. I do see the two lows. The second time I seen these in hand, 149 is the price for these. Down below, we also got the infrared sevens. These in the building. They retail gang. Is it retail? Nope, 140. That's not bad. We also got these sevens as well. And these are also below retail 129.99. Not bad. I'm not mad at either of those. Got about these but anyways, this is what we was here for. We was able to see them in person. 200 beans, dominantly all black. Jordan 14s with a little bit of white. They call them the black and whites. I wish there was a better name, but it's a wrap. So I doubled back and I did. Came through JD Sports and I found a pair that's not putting theirs out. Apparently people have been buying them throughout the morning and they didn't get much pairs. So they limit people one per pair because of the stock start diminishing quickly. When I first really pulled up, there was a whole bunch of people lined up to buy pairs. Now, I'm not sure if these are reselling. This is the second store that's telling me that they're selling out. Ironically, Champs and Foot Locker they didn't have pairs on shelf when the store opened, so I'm not sure how well they're doing now. I'm circling back to Foot Locker after this, and we'll see if this sold any since this morning. It's been one hour since release. So I circle back, still no signs of the 14. So the verdict is <laughs> they didn't get the shipment. That's the reason why they don't have pairs. Anyways, we offset the Mall Millennia to see what's in the building over there. There's two sneaker stores, Foot Locker and JD Sports. So now we're in the Mall Millennia. We about to pull up to House of Hoops and see what's popping. All right, so we're in Foot Locker and this is the J section. Only thing different are these. I do not see no 14s in the building. We do got the Midnight Navy 3s. We got the Fairs. We got the 13s. And for the women, we got these Vortex 6s. I am not mad at these. If these make these in extended sizes, it will be a cop. But that damn price though, 250. That's steep. And why are these still in the building? The disrespect. The Neapolitans, 11s. Women's only though. I think they're dope. And also think these are dope. Just minus the laces. I think these are dope. I wish they made them extended sizes. And then you also got some mids. Nike basketball section. We got the LeBron 21s. They got them in different colorways. You got this tan joint and you got this purple joint. Both of these are hitting for 200. And then you got dunks in the building. You got the mid joints and you got the lows. And these are paying this 115 is the price. Okay. Nike's definitely getting that money, y'all. So apparently the word is on the street, these are very comfortable shoes. I ain't know what they were. When I was in the outlet and a lot of people shine in on that video when I was in Destin. Nike outlet like yo Frank those are Sabrina and they educate me on it So here they are in stores multiple different colors. They're going for 
Super 130. And what I haven't found are the 14s, but it's still got grade school Jordan 11 grad twos in the building though. No signs of 14s. You got the unclouds, which I did a video about these, so the comfortability of them. No unique colorways I haven't seen before. It's, well, I'll take that back. They do got some 270s on sale, black and white. These are different. They're going for 119. So we're in JD Sports, small millennia. So there's a Jordan wall that I believe was on sale. If that's not on sale, then clearly this is. But it's not the first time I've seen it on sale, to be honest with you. 145, that's crazy. That ain't take long. There we go. Wow. 115. The light is horrible right now. That's cheap. That's 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 cheap for a number Jordan. And over here, there's a Jordan wall right here. The two got the threes. The 14s are not posted up. They told me they're potentially sold out, but they checked to see if there's a size available I could take a look at. Clearly, you already know I've seen them, but it makes for good content. I actually do want these. These are the Cortex Air Jordan 1. These are the Zoom joints, 200 beans. They need to go sale i need to pick these up they got a whole bunch of different lows and this salt and pepper version is, is different 150 is the price for those mobs hey don't go too far yo homie got the reimagined fours on bro imagine that got the pitch for the release nike on the back hill that's dope you got a pair the jordan 14s they bought a pair out for me so i can take a look apparently they're selling out fast we've just been conversing about this shoe the homie said it looked like a shoe he's seen before For, like a UNC blue and black. I haven't seen that shoe ever, but they're here to go $200 size nine, not my size. I'm gonna politely put it back, let people who want it get it, but apparently these are selling out. Not much stores are getting paired. Uh, before I get out of here, we're gonna take a look at these uh, Gore-Tex. Again, these are 250, pricey. And they also got the Jordan 2s, purple and black, but these are women. They're going for 175, these are the highs. And this is how I prefer to see those lows, not with the ribbons on them. They're 180, fire shoe. I wish they made them in the sizes. I like This is a sales rack at JD Sport. They do got 11s in the building, going for 150. And right below, they got the sevens it's going for 170 as well we saw these at the other jd sports and the florida mall we over here now checking to see if there's any price differences maybe some price discrepancies I do like this air max 120 but what i do like better than that are these joints these are going for 70 beans i am not mad at this i would purchase this and rock that actually like that they got some says for 100 beans these are the zoom five or the zoom free fives these are scorpions 150 is the price some reebok some air forces more jordans but this is a sales rack at jd sports if you guys look in the moral of the story was the Air Jordan 14 appears to be like a limited release. Some of the stores I went to only got a small amount of quality. Some stores were selling more shoes than normal, but nevertheless, they were selling. Resellers were buying them. On top of that, Foot Locker apparently didn't even get pairs. Mind blowing. Well, it's delayed apparently i do like this shoe and at 200 price point they caught me off guard i i literally forgot that jordan retros has now increased in pricing that that yeah that that was weird at that moment but now i get it though i i get it but anyways man i appreciate you guys for supporting rocking with me throughout the whole years for all the newbies who just pulled up salute to you for all the ogs who've been in the building since day one and who has been following me throughout my path to this journey we're gonna hit 100,000 subscribers here shortly and nevertheless for all those who support Mr. Ball on the budget, y'all can get y'all hoodies now. They're on the website and they're going fast, man. So salute to y'all for support. If you guys want to get season one, they're in the building. All right, pull up and cop. I'll see y'all in the next building. Peace.